I mean, he has like the same color, right? Oh. Uh, oh shoot! Uh, counter. Okay. You got. I got to counter through that. Please handle things here. Are you leaving? She left. How could you do this to me? Oh, she came back with the puke puke. Oh, dude, that's sick. She's so she's so cool. Hey, we are back in Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. So last episode, I started the DLC, and I'm a little disappointed about the lack of new monsters. Um, that's the first thing I noticed. The DLC started, bam, new monster, Daimyo Hermitar, which was cool. And then right when we get all this new stuff here, we got <laughs> Monster Hunter Mercedes <laughs> from Dragon's Dogma. We have this new like castle place over here. We got the switch, uh, the switch skill swap mechanic introduced. All this new stuff, bam, no new monsters. And that's disappointing. So hopefully this episode, I can fight some new monsters. I have a feeling maybe we'll get like one new monster. Maybe the urgent quest will be a new monster. I am recording this before I upload the first episode of the DLC. So I wouldn't have seen any comments or tips from that last episode. So I'm still like kind of blind here. So bear with me, okay? So let's just get right into it. What? Impression. The fierce, you've sensed my malady and came to ease my suffering. Very well, you may shoulder my noble darkness. The freak. Oh. I'm captain of the Ch Chival Ch Chivaliers. Chivaliers? Chivaliers? As you know, that means part of my duties is managing the health of my subordinates. But I've sensed an issue recently. My troops need more sleep. The Chevaliers face collapse without more rack time. Ooh. I'm planning a special sleeping trout to help them slumber soundly. And I need you to fetch the materials. Oh my god. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. I gotta I gotta get like a uh, right gray baggy for people to sleep. Okay, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Okay. Uh, canteen quests. Yeah, just just give it to me. Okay. Up for a little challenge? No, I don't want to do a challenge. Um, I want to. I want to. I want to get some new monsters, man. Do you have a meow mint for me? How are things with your palicos? Giving your buddies plenty of fish? Sorry, not trying to be nosy. Maybe I was just asking because Nagi keeps telling me this is an upgrade. Uh, going at the buddy plaza. Complete three master rank quests with an assist type palico. I don't really want to like swap palicos around. Like, is my... Is, is Nero considered an assist palico? I don't know. Come to Suppy. Uh, this is a topic close to Suppy's heart. Your palicos, Nagi at the Buddy Plaza is having a healer upgrade campaign. And Suppy's helping him promote it. All you need to do is complete three master requests for a healer type palico. Okay. I see what's going on here. Okay. So... They are, like, rewarding us with some Palico stuff here, because learn healing Clover Bats. Like, I have no idea what my Palico is. Nero, what are you? Are you an attack Palico? Are you a healer Palico? I need to talk to you. About what? Putting their weight. Oh, are you, are you a, like, attacking Palico? A fighter Palico. I guess we'll find out when we do three quests. We'll find out which one you are, Nero, buddy. Don't you worry. Punch a pretzel. That's some good timing. You need help with something? A real request. Take a picture of a daimyo hermitar using their clutch. Using their claws as a shield. Oh. Hmm. I'm going to be honest. I don't think I'm going to do that. Fran, I'm sorry. I don't think I'm going to be doing that. What is it, a lemonade stand? All right, cool. All right, so... We... I think we are lacking. Um, we are lacking in some things, and... 
Like, little by little, our dual blades are getting weaker. I'm still on the defender line. Um, like, there are some options for better weapons. 250. This has way more blue sharpness. Wow, that's a lot of blue sharpness. A little bit more attack. And it has better slots. Fire cell. Heavy Azuchi. All right, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Um, let's just let's pick a quest. What is this quest? Oh. Join hub quests. Not available. Oh, okay, yeah. So, gotcha. You have to be in a session. All right. So what do we got here? What do we got? We got uh, Eknasum, Volvedon, a Baroth, Redacted, Two Great Roggy, a Great Baggy. I think we do this because I think that that depressed guy over there, he wants a Great Bag. He wants stuff from a Great Baggy to put his soldiers to sleep, right? That guy over there. Let's hook him up. I'm going to continue with the Dual Blades. Until I think I get to Master Rank 4. Because I think I read that in Master Rank 4. That is when we unlock like the new skills. The new crazy skills for the weapons that everybody's been talking about. Which I'm really excited to see how good these skills really are. So a Lagambi, which is the... I think that's the bunny bear. Okay, there he is. Great baggy. Shoulder bash. They sleep. Got that gold wire bug thing. Oh no. Okay. Shoulder bash. Oh, turf war, turf war. Uh, okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. Well, I gotta fight him, so I'll attack him. There we go. Damn. And then, yeah, we'll do that. I should have maybe launched him. Can I ride him? I can't. Well, I'll attack this guy since he's sleeping. Okay. Here we go. Alright, I'm peacing out. Just 
taking advantage of that sleep. Got me, you baggy. What are you doing? Whoa, Nero, Nero, hit me, Nero, Nero. Thank you, sir, Chad. Get me. Oh, you got me. Nero! Nero! Nero, over here, Nero! Nero! That's not Nero! God, your damn horn isn't waking me up! Marionette spider, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's try that. I missed it last episode. Okay, let's see. How does this work? Um, I have to press aim and I have to press square. Right here. I missed again. Oh, no, no, no. Let's see if we can dissect some of that stuff the pressed boy needs. Thick hide. Damn! All I got was thick hide. Monster bone. 
Ooh, for the defense jewel. Oh, 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 he's down. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, and then I should be able to ride you, right? Nice. Ride. Beautiful. Big bone, uh, some big snowballs you got there. Four. Oh no! I'm having a hard time reading his movements. Why is it so hard to hit him? I'm having such a hard time hitting this guy. Bizarre, why? Why am I having such a hard time hitting him? Weird. Yeah, I saw that. I saw that. L2 circle in time. Butt slam! Oh, I wasn't able to get the flight skill in time. Ooh, spinny, spinny. Okay. I didn't get the counter, so fine. Sleeping. Nice. Nice. Nero's mining. I don't think I've ever seen that. Why? I've never seen that. Like, I know that, like, when you finish a quest, sometimes they can get, like, like mined materials. I've never actually seen a Palico get go next to one and do that. Interesting. What is this? 
Our parade. Oh, it could be captured already? Really? Uh, pitfall trap. Uh, don't run away. Don't. He's gonna run away. I could go back to camp to get another one, but let's just kill him. Let's just kill him and dissect him. It's over for you, buddy. Just give up. Give up. Don't do the butt. Big mistake. There we go. Healer upgrade. Okay. So our Palico is a healer. <coughs> Interesting. I don't know why. I don't know why he's a healer. I did notice that, like, my Palico started doing the horn for healing me, like, n not that long ago. A few episodes ago, I started noticing that he was healing me with just a horn. And I don't think I've ever noticed that. Like, maybe he did this, like, the whole playthrough, but I actually never really noticed that until maybe, like, four episodes ago, maybe. I know there's something that I'm missing about Palicos. They're, like, my buddies. Somebody mentioned a while ago that there's a way to, like, switch some tools around. And I'm assuming by tools, they're not talking about their, the weapon. Because I have sleep weapons equipped to both my buddies. And I know, I know one of them, I think, makes my dog, Storm, like, bite onto the monster. And then he just hooks onto them. And I can't call Storm uh, to mount him, like, sometimes, like, when he's doing that. Hunter rank 14. We're getting close to 20. All right, work worthy of a knight. Stealth Dango Supreme. Oh. He's gonna give me a uh, Dango daggers. I'll mix a, a drought that can knock out even the mightiest monster. Dude, you better be using this like for your soldiers, soldiers to help them go to sleep. You better not be using this for anything else. Like, I don't know, man. This guy doesn't look like a depressed guy. He looks like... He looks like the kind of guy who's going to put stuff in somebody's drink. All right. All right, anything new here? So we got the... Stealth Dango Supreme, 240... It has very little blue sharpness. And of course, I would need another Torpor sack. Monster Essence. 230 with ice. Jesus Christ. Dude. What a terrible... Man, are, are you really not gonna... Are you really not gonna, like, let us craft something, like, over here? You're gonna force all the way over here? Dude, that sucks. Really? They expect you to start from the bone tree all the way down to here? Like, come on. Oh, wait, no. 
you can craft this. 230 water. 230 fire. Crab horns. 230 with water. And it has a defense boost. A dragon artifact. 240. Dude, this is... This is good. Like, that's... That's some good affinity, man. That's good affinity. Oh, man. Why can't you just let us craft this? I really wish when they make, like, master rank weapons, they should let us craft the the master rank weapons. Not, like, have to... For not make us... Like, look, I think they're forcing us to craft, I think, low rank Kuluyaku. High rank... Well, maybe... This is definitely high rank. High rank Kuluyaku. And then master rank Kuluyaku. Like, bro. Bro, come on. Just make this one craftable. <laughs> Tetranodon. Heroics, hunger resistance. Um, 90 defense. I have 86. Uh, I have attack boost, stun resistance. Yeah, that's better. Guard. Uh, Heroics is low HP, right? Yeah. Special ammo boost, hunger resistance. What is my belt? Attack boost. Guard. Oh dude, I don't have I don't have a master rank belt. I don't. Okay, get get whoa, whoa. get the get the master rank belt. Attack boost, right? Beautiful. Luxury armor stand, master rank armor. No. Forging many valuable weapons and armor made from premium materials. Okay. Master rank. Nice. Nice. Uh decorations. Set decorations. Rodeo is not equipped. A three. Rodeo. And I don't think I have anything. Um. Okay. Do we have an Izuchi here? Damn. Great Ragi, Baroth. Agnostim is 9,000 reward money, but Baroth is 10,000. So I think Baroth, yeah, Baroth's armor gear is probably going to be better. So let's do that. I think the two times I have fought Baroth in Monster Hunter Rise, he made me faint. Low rank broth and high rank broth made me faint both times. Let's see if I can beat him without fainting. <laughs> Marionette. This time, I'm not going to jump. Here. I got him. What do I do now? What do I do now? What do I do? Now just give the threat a yank? How do I how do I thrank like this? No, I failed. It just it just tells you give the threat a yank and it doesn't tell you how to yank it.
gonna run away. Yeah, man, like his charge is a no. Like his charge. Damn, the flight skill. You stay on. Okay. The flight skill is kind of bad against Baroth, it seems. Because his, his charge has such a big hitbox. Like once he starts charging, bam, you're hit. How do we get these guys to attack? Do they only attack when they're down or something? Oh no, I did the wrong button. I pressed triangle circle by accident. Here. What are you doing? all day all day charge charge at me again charge i dare you well don't charge now let me let me <laughs> reach on my wire book I missed all those hits, dude. He's gonna. Oh, he's done. Oh, God, dude. Okay, come on, get up.
What are you doing? Running away. I thought I thought I was gonna faint. I was just like, oh my god, I missed all those hits. And then I kept on trying to like go for more attacks to like take advantage of him being downed and then. Where are you going? No! Damn it. Launch and I launched. Wait, wait. can I ride you again? No, no, dude, are you serious? Let me grab this. Please, turf four with Hermitar. Yes! Oh, thank you! <laughs> he just wants to fight everybody! Wait, what? I kind of felt like a fail. What is going on here? Dude, you're running away again? I guess, yeah, I guess because of the turf war, right? They run away. Damn. And he didn't drop any loot. Damn it. I thought, I thought he was staggered, so I did my triangle circle, the blade dance. Wire bug. 
I'm dead. He's gonna... He's gonna make me faint! Yeah! Damn it! Every Baroth has made me faint. Obviously, like... Sloppy, but... Damn, the damn stun. Always coming back to haunt me, man. The freaking stun. Alright, let me... Let me get traps. God damn it. Damn Baroth, bro. Why? It's his freaking stun, and then it's his damn charge with his stupid rock head, bro, and it, with his nostrils on top of his head. Like, does the guy drown when it rains? Like, I don't understand. Yes. How does he have nostrils on the top of his head? All right. You're dead. Why the, come on, I was pressing L2 circle and I was just standing there. Was am I stuck? Is that like an animation where you're stuck in there? Maybe you can after you do it like triangle. Maybe after trying the triangle combo, you can't do it. Get your stupid tail out of here. me with your dumb snot. No, you don't. Oh, no, not the tail, not the tail. Haunting me now. Big mistake, buddy. Okay, that was worth it. That was worth it. A lot of damage, a lot of damage. He could be captured. Right here. Bam. Get out of here. Oh, wait, wait. Uh, guys, guys. Storm. Get, get over. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Damn you, Barak. This guy, man, like, I am surprised he has made me faint every time. Once. And I think every time he's made me faint, it was because of his charge. His damn charge. 
I, I think that uh, in high rank, I did the... I think I did the Gunlance skill where I go into the air, and then he charged while I was in the air, and I can't do anything in the air. So he killed me there. I don't remember the first feint, but I think it was with Charge Blade. No, no. I used Gunlance when I fought him in, in low rank. And then I think I used Gunlance again in high rank against Baroth. 19 minutes. We've had an urgent message from Kimura. Bjorain, Mercedes. Yes, Admiral. The urgent uh, message request helps with the... Abishatin, are you... Okay, well, I mean... Okay, okay. It's a subspecies. All right, I mean, I'll take it. I'll take it. It's better... It's better than just a base game monster, at least. I'll take it. I mean, a blood orange bichetin. Uh, it tells me that this subspecies is not native to this locale, which leads me to believe it might be due to changes in the ecosystem brought about by certain monsters of the kingdom. Admiral, with your permission, I'd like to accompany Luna on this assignment. Oh, you want to come with me? If I'm correct, responsibility lies with the kingdom, and as a knight of the order, I'm bound to uh, duty... I'm bound by duty to rectify the situation. Yurain, I took an oath to follow the knights code many years ago. I will not let the kingdom down. Yurain! What the frick? Oh. Honor, pride, chivalry, duty, fine virtues, and your willingness to sacrifice everything is admirable. But valuing your own life is a greater virtue still. Once... Uh, one you've yet to learn. Learn. Understood? Y yes, sir. Absolutely, sir. Dude, is this guy trying to cock block me? He doesn't want to let Fiorain come with me? Recall the tale of the Archdemon of the Abyss. Drawn by corrupted hearts, the fiend rises to devour kingdom's whole. A knight whose heart lies drunk on virtue invites nothing more than calamity. May you never forget that. You have... Oh! He's our wingman. You have my permission to accompany Luna on this mission. Fiore! That was such a random scream. Like, he's just talking. Chivalry. Virtue. These are all virtues of a good person. Fiore! Luna, Chiche should have the urgent quest registered already. Don't waste any time. Like, even his hairstyle. Hmm. All right, so we have a blood orange Bishatin. I heard Admiral... I mean, he only shouted Furain. He's usually so quiet. I hope nothing's wrong. Those in positions of authority don't just yell at a subordinate for nothing. Uh, Gallius uh, certainly doesn't. I expect he had a good reason to. I'll leave that at that. Anyway, as you know, a blood orange Bishatin has appeared in the Shrine Ruins. If Furain is correct, the kingdom monsters are indeed invading other territories. Then I'm afraid this creature must be dealt with swiftly. There is some good news, as this is a royal matter. Fiorain will accompany you on your request. Isn't that exciting? The beast will be no match against two guild, uh, gifted warriors. Still, I must ask that you do be careful of him. Please. You know, I don't know how this is going to work. Uh, like, Fiorain tagging along with me. Like, based on just, like, Monster Hunter World... Every time there was a side character that said that they were going to tag along or do something, they pretty much disappeared. They, they were non-existent. Like, every time we were fighting and they always showed up after we defeated them. Like, woo! You're, you beat me to the punch. <laughs> He's lucky I didn't get here in time. But I kept on saying that it would probably be cool if, like, since they tried... I think Monster Hunter World, they tried to make some of these side characters... Like, add some personality or make maybe make you care for them. But I think Monster Hunter World fell flat in uh, the personality of the side characters and making you, like, feel attached to them or anything. Because they were just non-existent. Like, you spend so much time fighting monsters and then every time you talk, they're like, oh, blah, 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 let's go hunt it. And then you go there, they're gone. And then they come in after, they're like, oh, man, you're crazy, you're so good, you're, you're an amazing hunter. But I think it would have been better if, like, some of the side characters, you, they actually fought aside you, like the AI, uh, like in a co-op mode. Or at least, like, had the option to toggle it or something, or 
just like for the story like if it's a story quest I mean like fine just let it let it be a co-op AI that would be cool and then every time you fight fight that monster again afterwards you you solo it right but I think it'd be cool and make them cool like for example when we fought Fatalis I think Fatalis is the only time in the whole game of Monster Hunter World where somebody was actually an AI was present fighting the monster and I kept on making fun of that guy the whole time and then at the end the dude's just like such a giga chad I keep on dying and fainting and he's just like he's like throwing dust to life he's like here man take this let me let me uh shoot him from afar boom 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 boom, boom. throwing like uh the 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 binders at him and then he got hit by uh Fatalis's fire and that that was that never again has anybody joined so yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying like I think it'd be cool. Like if you if you're gonna have a side character, let them fight alongside you for some like st important story fights or something. Like build that rapport, that emotion. M2 star. Okay, before I fight blood orange monkey armor, broth armor, attack. Um, So I have guard. Dude, does this... Wait. Seriously? This has four skills? There are four skills tied to this? That's insane. Well, I don't need... Dude, dude. Yes! Yeah. Um... Oh, yeah, I have this. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. We'll leave it. We'll leave it like that. All right. Looking good. Looking good. All right. What's my stats looking like? 483 defense, 266 attack. 5% <laughs> affinity. Damn. I could like farm the cool Yaku and get uh, the cool Yaku daggers for an extra 20% affinity. I could do that. Um, all right. Let's do it. Blood Orange Bishatin. Let's see how crazy this guy's gonna be. Now this is gonna take us to a new uh, line of quests. This is gonna be an uh, master, uh, like a master rank two star quest. Two star quest. Or the usual. Let's weaken the monster. I only got the Dango Weakener. Damn. Okay. I mean, he has like the same color, right? Oh. ケーキ。Oh, So he can light on fire and explodes. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah, look, I, I was right. Yeah, like AI here. During Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak, Fiorain will sometimes accompany you on. Damn, Mercedes. I'll grab all this. Don't mind if I do. God damn, she's short as hell. Wait, no. We're the same height, right? Where are you going? She. All right, let's go. Kishino, go to the cave. Cut. Life is important. Protect the soul. Oh, look at her dog. Let's go.
I wonder, since Fiorain is with us, did they increase... Did they increase the HP of the monsters? If not, that'd be crazy. Come on, Fiorain, let's take this. Let's 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 kill this Kuliaku fast. I pressed launch ma monster too soon. Oh. My, my thought process is with Furain, if they don't increase the HP of the monster, then we can we can we can beat these monsters faster and I can get like Kuluyaku materials. Oh, is that Bishop's kid over there? Can he chase us? Come on, Kuu Yaku, Jia Yaku. Come on, come on. Kamura, Sato no tame. Kishu toshite no tsutome o hatasu. 
Yes. Yes. Oh, what's going on? What's going on? Come on, right, 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 circle, circle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what was happening. There. Look at all these materials. I'll take all this, 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 this. Is there a Puke Puke behind me? Yeah. Is he capturable? Who put this trap down? Did I put this trap down? how the time is going maybe he has increased hp with furane because of furane He 
can be captured. Let's try to kill him. Let's save the trap for Bishiton. That was a faint fuck. Damn. Damn, that sucks. That, that sucks. Ah, damn. I was just... He was the, he was about to... He was about to, like... I was about to kill him. So I was like, ah, he's almost dead. Let me just try to, like, be... Like, let me just keep on spamming attack, attack, attack. Ah. Uh. Alright, let's start fighting the Bishotin, and then if we get a chance, maybe the Bishotin will move closer to the, uh, the Kuyaku jerk. fire thing, right? Okay. He does a spinning thing there. Whoa. Okay, so... That's fast. That's fast. I don't know, like... He might do a lot of damage, so let me just, um... Let me just try to stay stopped, topped off. I gotta counter through that. Whoa. 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 Break dancing. Hopefully to the Kuyaku. Look at him fly. Jesus, he like did a dive bomb. Magic number. Please handle things here. Please handle things here. Are you leaving? She left. you do this to me oh she came back with the puke puke oh dude that's sick she's so she's so cool
Alright, that was good damage. Where's the Kuliyaku? You know, God, let's kill this Kuliyaku right now. Is the Bishu thing gonna come? Oh, it's sleeping. Thank you, Bishatin. Chad. Okay, but 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 let me ride him though. God, four Kuriaka, four hundred damage, dude. I'm I'm surprised that the Kuriaka is still alive. Like, what the freak? Okay. Slain. Running away, okay. I don't think this is going to be enough for me to be able to craft the Kuluyaku daggers. Thick hide shard. Oh, 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 I see what he did there. The blade dance. I thought. I thought he was gonna be uh, staggered for longer. Okay, and then another one. Oh, you staggered him? I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. I didn't have, I did L2 circle, but I didn't have my, sh my weapons equipped. Right. He's 
running away. Okay. Anything? Whoa! I didn't even notice he when he threw that. Is he sleeping? Let me just heal up really quick just to be a little safe. So I don't get one shot. Are you gonna are you gonna come back with a, with with another monster? Oh shoot, shoot, shoot. Yeah, yeah, she's coming with Puke Puke. Nice. Dude, she's so good. Oh, I I missed. I tried to launch it at the Puke Puke. It's like this is what I was saying, man. Just give us, give us some story characters. Let them like join our fights as AI. Like that was awesome. Like, yeah, like, and then after you beat the story mission and you fight the monster again, you can then you can solo it one v one. But like this, I feel like this was more fun. Like she was, she was freaking going to get like monsters and she was riding them back. Like, how badass is that? She's like, I'll be right back. <laughs> she comes back with, like, a tank. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> this is what I was saying. And it doesn't help that she's Mercedes. Oh! Material. Cool, yeah. Oh, it's a large wyvern tier. Okay. Beast gem. Nice. Long distance binoculars, uh, giving a clear view of far off targets awarded to staunch investigators. I have no, I have no idea what was what caused that trophy. Twenty eight minutes. Well, we did beat two monsters, Kuyaku and uh, the Bishiten. Welcome back, Luna. I'm rather impressed. No, I'm, I'm impressed. Your technique out there was superb. Despite the severity of the situation, I quite enjoyed hunting with. Oh. <clears throat> God damn, he's like, she doesn't, he doesn't let her talk to me. Let her finish. I received a full account from Kimura. Good work, both of you. So the appearance of this Bishitin subspecies is due to the influence being spread by the kingdom monsters. <clears throat> we cannot allow these monsters to continue invading other territories. Agreed, sir. 
The researchers have discovered signs of the kingdom's three lords. They're following the, ah. their trail. The three lords are all very powerful monsters. Elgato will sh uh, need to show great sol solidarity. Solidarity. Solidarity here. My god, I can't read. And we'll be counting on you, Luna, as one of our own now. But let's wait and see what the investigation reveals about the three lords first. For now, we need to talk. Do you have some time? I do. I was wondering if I may talk to you about something. Okay, yeah, sure. What's up? I know we only just went out hunting together, but I'm right. She wants to go out with me again, bro. <laughs> but I'm rather interested in going out again. I've actually prepared a new quest. Chi Che has added it to your list. Please have a look when you are able to. You can take your allies out on quests with you as followers, allowing each of you to hone. Oh, oh. So this is a, it's a whole mechanic where. You can choose to bring people along. I'm sure there are many here who would be interested in tagging along with the fierce on a hunter too. If you if you receive such requests, please do accept. They oh well, maybe it's only for certain quests. Maybe you can't like bring them out on every quest. They foster the bonds that will surely aid our cause in the end. Oh, one more thing: the kingdom has issued a request for monsters uh, research with support surveys. Followers can join those as well. Anyway, I don't mean to overcomplicate things. The point is to go out and hunt some monsters together. Of course, the three lords in our investigations into the kingdom monsters come first. The rest, when you have time. Oh. I've updated the Chichai uh, with a new list of quests you need to prioritize. Please take a look. I'll see you again soon. Ooh, we got a Rathian. A monster rank Rathian, but it's a base game monster! Purple. What, is, what does purple mean? Konnichiwa. I was wondering if perhaps you can assist me. Uh, in addition to our normal duties, we knights of the order are encouraged to further. Oh, a follower. She's a follower. But it requires that someone accompany me. Why have they refused? Maybe because you suck? I, I don't know. I mean, I... perhaps they are intimidated by my hunting prowess. Forgive me for having just met and asking a personal favor, but perhaps she would be interested in joining me. You want me to fight a. F I just fought a Bishitin. There better be a new monster in one of these quests. Chichai, I swear to royal god, dude. New quest, wonderful achievement. Uh, invading monsters is much greater than we anticipated. At least there's been progress on locating the three lords. Perhaps if they are defeated, uh, the ecosystem might recover. I've added the follower quest. Fear Rain had spoken to you about the Rathian. Uh, you're going to be quite busy. There's much to be done, but I have faith that you'll fulfill the duties. Let me look at the quests. Uh, follower collaboration quests are solo quests in which a follower requests uh, your assistance after completing their quest. Deepens their bond. Completing follower requests will bring you and the followers closer together. Dude, like, is there romance in this game, bro? <laughs> you gotta get their bond up. <laughs> and they're, you're, they're gonna be your uh, beloved. You can now take followers. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, there better be a new monster. No. 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 I got it. Oh, I totally forgot I'm going to have to fight a low rank Kuyaku and a high rank Kuyaku. And then a bird wyvern gem, bro. A bird wyvern gem. Oh, screw me, dude. What is that? Like a 5% chance of dropping, dude? Come on. Why can't they just let me craft the la the monster rank? Why do they have to force me? Dude, uh, that just stuff like that. 
Stuff like that, dude. The grind, bro. <laughs> Give me a master rank defender weapon. Okay. What do we have here? Orangutan. Blast attack. No. No. Handicraft. Uh, quick sheet. Eh, I mean, how much? 96 defense? Okay, I mean... Eh, not really impressed with uh, the Bishatin's armor. Uh, tune up. Okay. All right. Okay. All right, so I'm going to end it off here. So, besides the lack of new monsters... I thought this episode went fairly well, you know, uh, I don't know, I mean, Blood Orange Bishitin, it didn't really scratch the itch on my back for new monsters, but I will say it's better, a subspecies is better than just a regular monster. I'll give them that, I'll give them that. So, hopefully next episode, uh, we have an urgent quest for a new monster, we'll see what happens. I just, I freaking want, give me these new skills, man. I, I want to get these new skills so I can test them out. But I, by the time I have a feeling, man, by the time I get these new skills, I think I think defender weapons are going to be the, the, the last defender weapon is going to be too weak. And I, I don't think I'm going to be grinding for every single weapon just to test them out. Like I might test them in the training area. I don't know, um, because I really wish they gave me the skills like maybe closer to the beginning. But I wouldn't be surprised. Maybe we get the new weapons at f the four star when we get to four star quests. We'll see. All right. So thank you for watching. If you're enjoying these uh, videos, this playthrough, it would mean the world to me to like and subscribe if you haven't already. If you have any comments, tips, throw them down. I do read the comments. And I will see you next time. I got to go. Bye-bye.